that is how exactly to build a system that can supply your sales team with uh, quality uh, leads. Yes, and what we can uh, see that um, very often, um, you know, organizations have in-house marketing or they may be some uh, have some uh, cooperation with the uh, external marketing agency. It doesn't really matter. But what is important to understand is that role of the marketing has significantly changed because of these uh, uh, reasons what we just described. And um, if you look at the past and or traditional way of running marketing, uh, and split between marketing and sales uh, organization responsibilities that marketing was mainly focused on uh, creating awareness, driving the general interest, meaning, you know, just, you know, rising the, uh, this interest on the market. While then sales was very deeply involved into uh, very early uh, conversations with their customers, they were really driving uh, uh, conversations uh, to move customers towards the intent of buying the solution. While today, if you look at this need to work with potential leads at scale and to uh, address uh, the, their uh, needs uh, in different channels, this is what digital marketing can uh, can help and to enable with. Yes, and now let's look uh, how exactly it works and how digital content uh, helps you to identify customers, to educate them, and ultimately uh, close uh, close the deals. Now, if we look at uh, marketing total, and if you have a niche solution, it's really difficult to figure out who exactly are your customers. However, in case if you are using marketing content, I mean, uh, white papers about specific solutions, it's not something that people would read just to entertain themselves. They would read it if they have a genuine interest. And this is how marketing content allows, allows for self-selection. Basically, people who have interest, uh, they sign up themselves, they register, and as a result, what happens? You get contact data that you that you ask at the form when you are when people are registering for the content usually it includes things like name surname role email company name perhaps industry the rule here is following of course the more questions you ask the less is conversion rate or the less number of people who fill in the whole form um, however you can experiment and let's say for webinars it's it's quite common to ask much more uh, contact information than for let's say white papers or ebooks that's that's one part of information which you can obtain the second part is generated by marketing automation by analytics and you can you can really figure out if the person is ready to buy how do you figure that out you can you can track if the emails the person is getting if they are open if they are read uh, you can see if the content person is receiving is is clicked on, consumed, if videos are watched, if person are returning back uh, to your website to see more. So you are getting very, very rich information which allows you to better understand your customers. Yes, and based on this information, you can actually qualify whether this is your uh kind of lead you would you want to work with and this is the time to transfer it to your salespeople or this is something you still need to nurture 